I'm ending it before I've even begun. <laughs> Hi, James. I am Jad. Oh, no, slight cockle. <laughs> Just a slight one. Yeah, I played my outro instead of my intro. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, uh, I hope you were uh, looking forward to this one. This one I, I've made several Victoria sponges, but never a lemon one. Thank you, Amjad. Hi, uh, Richard. How are you? How are you? And thank you, Amjad. So, yeah. So, I was a bit perturbed about the buttercream, but I've weighed the amount that it says, uh, but I've got some uh, icing sugar on standby. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to put the link in for Tracy, as you do. And as they always say, that's only for Tracy's benefit. Nobody else's. If you try coming in, you're not getting. Simple as that. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll wait for Tracy to come in because I've got a little bit of a knack. Not a knack, hack, but, yeah. For the bakers out there, um... Hi Tracy. Hi love. Hello, Tracy. So uh, I've, I've just been saying Tracy, I've got a little bit of a knack. I, I don't know whether you've heard baking belts. Baking belts? Yeah. Uh... It, it's basically, what you do is, you wrap them around your, your baking tins, so when you're baking oh, them, yeah. <laughs> what we're baking like what like what we're baking tonight, mate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they come out with a flat top. Now to save money and whatever, I do know what I like. Now these is just bake out foil. Oh wow. actually, from what I've heard, they're just as good as the bought baking belt. So I did make them before and Basically, all you do is round your tins. Well, excuse me. I'll just show you. Um, in fact, in fact, I'll just swap my camera around and I'll show I'll show you what I'm doing. So yeah, so I've got a tin here, and this is my aluminium foil baking belt. So all you do is you put it round your tin, secure it, and that's not quite. The beard. Hey. The beard. Who? The beard. I the beard. How are you? So yeah, I can't get that to. I think that needs to there, have you? Nope. So yeah, so that that that's that that's basically what you do. But I don't know where I'm going to secure it. I mean, I ain't got no tape on here. So. Uh... Bit of butter or something to stick it. I ain't got all, I ain't got nothing for so I'll do give that a miss tonight. But I just thought I'd I'd show mm. people oh, yeah. how easy it is. I mean these baking belts are about seven or eight quid. But a lot of people say this method. I mean I am probably have thought it through, but hey ho. But I thought I'd just show you that. I've got me my liner in my cake tin. Probably not use them tonight. I tell you what it. I tell you what it does. It stops. I'll just change my camera back over. Hello, oh, no, crypto party. Hi, crypto. Hi, partners. So yeah, it actually. You know when you know when you're making like a Victoria sponge or a, 
a cake in them, them sort of tins, it stops it doming, so we get a nice flat top. But obviously, I were only like doing them like two or three minutes before I went live, so uh, it were a bit of a rush job sort of thing. So, uh, we'll, we'll make a start then, Tracy, if you, you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready when you're adding it. So yeah, so that you, you get the drip. That's basically what they're for, is to stop your cakes from doming. But obviously, if I'd have thought to Ed, I, I could have put some sellotape on my table, but I, I didn't think. So uh oh, the beaters, really. But that's it, so I mean, you get drift. It's it's uh, it's basically saving money, and it does the same job. And it, it, you either go around your tins to uh, to stop them from doming. Uh, we 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 got uh, the beard. Mm. Right, so we'll make a start. Um, yeah. Nearly forgot to turn my camera around. No sound. Oh. I can, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, I can. Oh, partner says no problems, is and so oh. obviously. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, yeah. We it, it, there's no problem with sand uh, ear beard. So we've got a hundred, two hundred and twenty-five grams of butter, and it's well softened because it's been hard since this afternoon. <laughs> oh dear, covered up, of course. And two hundred and twenty-five grams of caster sugar. Yeah, Amjad says sounds good here. James says sounds it must be must be your end. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna cream this together first first and foremost. Tracy, not me, uh, partners. So into this mixture, you want finely grated zest of four lemons. You know, after that, where it says juice and zest of what uh, four lemons, don't yeah. actually need all that juice. It's only like two tablespoons. Yeah, for it. Oh. So yeah, so that's the grated zest of four, four lemons. Just mix this in and then... Uh... Mix 
<laughs> now we're going to add i'm not going to put all four eggs in at once i'm going to just going to do a couple you need four eggs by the way you put one in at a time well i'm so putting a couple in and then i'm going to mix it and then put an other Well, no, not not now, nah, nah. So yeah, so um, you need two hundred and twenty-five grams of self-raising flour. I'm just gonna put so much of it in, and then I'm uh, with this bit. Obviously, you fold uh, hold it in. That's going to uh, Pakistan on the 2nd of July. Right, into this you need just two tablespoons of lemon, fresh lemon juice, look, freshly squeezed. And six tablespoons of milk. Isn't even four, are you? Say, and end up third party. I've only done three. I've got table sleeves. Just a little bit. Right, two tablespoons. Hi, Gus. How are you? I don't go. Right, two tablespoons. Yes. Ooh, 
But only problem is, Gus, you're in U USA and we're in United Kingdom. Two. That's a tablespoon. Get you a good used car. We've got, we've got a car anyway, Gus. That'll do. <laughs> yeah, I'll just pour the shit more in so you don't punch me. I know. <laughs> you needed a lot of stuff in there. Have you put your milk in yet, Jeanette? Yeah, I've I've just done that, Tracy. You have to put it all in, all the six. Six milk. tablespoons, yeah. Yeah. But only two. Uh, only two um, lemon juice. All oh, right, I've done that lemon juice. Oh, can't buy petrol. <laughs> well, Chris has seen it. Uh, I'm just says it's good. He says he had to go to the next city for cheaper diesel. Fill up cost him 90 quid. Hey. Okay. Good quick for us. Yeah, so what we're going to do is put them in, in, in his tins now. No, he's not here. Probably getting ready because he's away again tomorrow. Probably packing all his stuff away or stuff up, should I stay? Stay. It smells nice, doesn't it, Jeanette, with lemon? Right, you, can, you can really smell lemon in it. I'm glad you looked on that and said so, because I'd have put all a uh, lot in, would you? Hey. I'd have put a lot in if you didn't have had a lot. Yeah. Well, I read, I always, like, that Sarah knew about, um, you know, why you're a bit confused about icing sugar and whatnot. Because I always like to read through it. Um, uh, you know, beforehand. And I said to him, because yeah. I'd, I'd done my, my lemon juice in like two lots. And, yeah, uh, I've got enough for next for buttercream now, that's doing it all. <coughs> so I said, I don't actually need all that all that uh, that lemon, because it says it only needs two tablespoons. Oh, and I tell you something, it tends to half get me cramp in my hand. Zesting all them lemons. Oh no. I mean, you know, I've got arthritis in my hands, but it, it, it sort of gave me cramp. Somewhat chronic in my hands. Yeah, that was last Wednesday, Gorse. Um, Anthony Dodge, I think, went to. But yeah, my hand's still, my hand still sort of like keeps going in like spasms, you know. Cause... Oh yeah, I keep on getting it on my right hand. But, um, see, I've got one of them hand graters 
and it's supposedly got an er ergonomic handle but it's still just cramping around so i'm trying to uh, flatten these like best i can Ooh. James says, partner, show diesel hire. Ours works out at £1.42. Oh. Still warm, though, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, very warm. Got all my windows open. Yeah, we've had patio doors open all day. Well, open now. well yeah, we've still got them open now. Gonna be a scorcher again tomorrow, according to uh, yeah. the forecast. Yeah, you want you want your cakes as uh, as level as possible, because uh, uh, yeah, it's it's about nineteen here, James, at the moment. It worked like in twenties earlier on, but it's cooled down slightly. <laughs> we well, see good thing about. Us uh, crypto is we've got both a shower and a bath. Now I prefer a bath, but Chris prefer and Callum prefers a shower. You see, I can't stand up in shower. But yeah, we you know we've got a electric shower. And like in weather like this, Chris, well, any any weather really, Chris prefers a shower, but I prefer a bath. I like to have a soak. Anyway, <laughs> happy anniversary. Oh, thank you. I forgot all about it. So we haven't done anything special today. What Chris is going to do is tomorrow is going to cook a, a, a special meal. Mm. Or either that or go out somewhere. Yeah. That'd be nice. Uh, oh, Marky, okay, uh, <laughs> oh dear. So we got that that's that finished now. And uh, yeah, they can go in the oven now. Uh Reminded me, Tracy. And I feel, oh, I've got itchy nose. Wondering why we're doing this. It is basically so if there's any air bubbles in it, it will, it will knock the air bubbles out. It's only me. Yeah. Put his head back down again. Think it was, then was it in the bangs and yeah. Yeah. So, are you going to put these in, in the oven for me? Oh. How long does it go for dinner? 20 minutes? 20 minutes, yeah. These yeah. have got to be in the oven now for 20 minutes. I want the right. thing as well, baby. Cooling rack. What's the one now? It's just one of the one. It... <clears throat> you don't want it full of owls, uh, part nest. That's why you fold your sugar in because you don't want to put any more air into the mixture because when it's cooked, you like get, get yes. got, hang on a minute. Yeah. Just put them in. So yeah, um, that's why you fold your flour in so you don't get any more air bubbles in 
and if you were to mix it with a mixer i mean some people do but if you were to mix it with a mixer it's getting more and more air into it so when it bakes you start getting like these great big like holes uh, excuse me in your mixture so that that's basically why you fold your flour in and you um you tap it on worktop or wherever you're making it just to get them air bubbles to come to the top so when your cakes come out of the oven they haven't got these great big uh, like air, air pockets <coughs> so does that um explain it uh partners so yeah um but that's why why you're using um self-raising flour as well and no baking powder etc you don't need baking powder if you're using self-raising flour so um so yeah but you see reason why i'm i i, I bought the icing sugar thing up is when i've made buttercream before whatever butter you, uh, amount of butter you use and usually double the icing sugar so i'm going I've, I've weighed it out i've only weighed 125 grams of icing sugar out but i have got a, another box well some in a box here um should i need it <laughs> oh dear So yeah, so we're going to get to bash it as the recipe says to do. So we'll see. Um, would you uh, wash my beaters for me, please? But it's 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 basically just like your normal Victoria sponge, but it's obviously got lots of lemon in and lemon juice and. Um, so yeah reminded me it's all right i'm just uh cleaning me uh that is a tablespoon uh measure you're getting everybody excited about oh this is another thing as well what i might do as well tracy because i bought i bought these being as it's his as anniversary i've bought some chocolate arts look to decorate it with i might put a little bit of lemon uh, yellow thing in icing and i got some like them you know them curls what you had oh yeah them triple Mm -hmm. Triple chocolate curls. That's what I do. So yeah, I thought, well, we it being his anniversary, I'll get them. They only like little chocolate arts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, about thirty-two years since, uh, and it, and she's gone to number one with it. Run, running up that hill or something. Not ready that biscuit. <laughs> I think you know when you're coming to. Oh. Uh, uh, oh uh, you just have to make extra then, I'm dad, if everybody's coming for a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your YouTube friends, I'm dad. But. It says every teacher and student comes at my face and says, oh, I'm excited for the cupcakes. Mm -hmm. I, I do as well, partner. He says, I remember it the first time, Ran. I forget, I forget now how it's come about, but it were played. I don't know whether it were what it, it, it were, it were a, a film. You're gonna to have to double it. I'm trying to make thirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, says 
if all teachers and students want some, you better make extra or two lots. Where are computers making that noise? But yeah, I think it. I think it's a film. The reason why it's gone to number one, it's I, I forget now because I did see it on New Year's. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, it, it, oh yeah. Partner says it run a Netflix uh, program, but I know it rather a film or summer that featured it, and then out of nowhere, it's gone to number one. So, uh, but yeah, you know what I mean. It's uh, but it's same as I said to Chris as well. Before you know it, all rest of her songs will be making a, a, a reappearance. You know what I mean? Can you be a Hi, James. How are you, James Gibson? So yeah. Uh, but I have got I have got some extra icing sugar. I've got me I've got me um that's my uh yeah sieve. Oh yeah, I haven't done that again. I've got to do that. Uh, no, I've got my extra icing sugar just in case. I might start mine before yours because I've got that like, big sieve like you. That little farty thing. Yeah, I well, think it is I... like yours, but it's just it's got smaller. Yeah, well, I, I bought a set of three, and the one same size as this is it's got very small holes and it mm. took, takes forever. Mine does, it takes forever. But this Might one, it in a minute or two. Uh, th th this one, it, it goes through it like one hour. Can you hear my computer at all, my tower? No. Oh, it's okay then. It's making an audible noise. It's like I've got an air dryer on. <laughs> it's just a fan. Doing that for it might be. It's probably costs it at warm weather as well, Tracy. Yeah. What shows what packs up on it? So it could be the door open. That's why this door's open all the time when you see it sometimes on camera. But yeah, partner says she's 63. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh well, it's only like took thirty odd years to get to number one. <laughs> well, that's it. I missed the beginning of that. Who's number one? Oh. Hey, who's number one? Kate Bush. All oh, right. Don't see when I went over. Yeah, I've seen them, uh, Amjad. She says, is, uh, Crypto says, is that a ponytail cap, Tracy? I think it's just a baseball cap, isn't it? It's no face cap, yeah. But some yeah. green out. I dyed my hair black. They've like got a thing in middle, haven't they? Oh, yeah. I tried my hair doing that. Um, no face. I did. My hair tried to do that ponytail, but when I put it all the way back, you see all my grey hair. <laughs> yes, that's why I dyed my hair. So when I put all my hair back, and then I just get it with my hands like that at the back. And then you just put. But, uh, but like, yeah, I, I, I did I try it, it, but it, it looked horrible with all grey hair. So I'll, in the next couple of days, I'm going to dye my hair. Well, I've got two boxes. I think I just need to put a little bit more. Yeah, I've, I've got two boxes. I want to just put one on right quick for christening, you know, just round your hairline, mate, with grey and a bit on top. Has it like got a carry handle as well? Um, uh, yeah. It's all right. It says his auntie bought a cupcake storage box. They've got like, can't they like flat, aren't they, with a handle on it? But you see, my cupcakes never go it's anywhere. It's a normal so. baseball cap, really, crypto. What I do is I put a ponytail in like that, and then you know that all at back. Just put your ponytail through it. And then if you want to just do whatever yeah. you want to do, yeah, bring it down. But yeah, I says to Chris, I says, I'm, I, I did it, I managed to do it, but we have it all back, it shows a lot more of my grey hair. Mm. So I says to Chris, I says, I'll leave that for now until I dye my hair and then I'll do it. 
So I did try it, but it looked when you dye when, when you dye your hair though, try it. You might like it. And you know what some people do? Do you know them headbands what made out of legging material? Yeah. You could just put it straight over your neck like that, and then you just bring it up to keep your bits. Well, I have you got some of them. I sent for some of them, but I find that with my hair being very fine, they slip about a lot. Mm. Oh, saw on Jane's Patisserie's Facebook that Willow brand butter is supposed to be good for cakes and cupcakes. Um, but I'll tell you what else I've got as well. I've got, um, it's like a long thing and it's got a, a press stub thing on ends. So what you do is your ponytail, you actually roll your ponytail around it clip it together oh, and it looks like a bun like on top yeah. like a bun type yeah but yeah you i mean right I, long, you get these right long things jeanette it's it and is it's you, like it's like a, it's like a you slap, if you slap it on your wrist it all goes round oh no this one in it's it like a long yeah. a long sausage it's about that about that round so but it's got a, a press stud on either end Hi, Tommy. How are you? Hi, Tommy. So, basically, when you've got your hair in your ponytail, you, you sort of roll it, roll it round, put it round and press stud it together, and then you put it your hair all round it. So... The idea yeah. of this weather for you, Jeanette, we're going to have some hot weather. Well, that's it. But I said to yeah. you, I did... Um, I did try it this morning, but there was too much grey hair showing. Do we need a big bowl for this next day, or Can I just use one of them glass ones or a red one? So, so that again. Do we need a, a big bowl like that for this buttercream, or can I just use one of them red ones or a glass bowl? Um, well, I, I would imagine. Well, I've got round to get another one. I, I, I've got two of these. Well, I've got three actually, but Chris has commandeered one of them. Well, Johnny claimed one of mine, it broke one of them bowls. I've got a glass bowl, I'll use a glass bowl, I think, Colin. So, uh, Are you doing your buttercream now? Um, oh, I've got a bit of meat in it, so if it's doing me, I do. I'll leave it because they've, they've still got seven minutes to go. Plus, yeah, yeah. So they've got five it. minutes and then take them out. I just shoved my butter in the fridge for a minute or two because it looked a bit too soft. It's been out all afternoon. But, oh, uh, time. but yeah, I mean, all our viewers, damn dad, is that it has to own make butter. Just as good. Mine's that Yorkshire butter. Yeah, well, this is Bonnie like as does own make. So, uh, so, so we yeah, like best it's butter, it's 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 just good. So, I stuck it in the fridge a bit. <laughs> oh, dear, says I watched other half of last night's stream crypto this morning. Oh, she says she's had an eye ponytail, then put loads of small plaits in it. But you see. This is yeah, yeah, I've like that before. Uh, um, I can't plait my own hair, and it all goes to cock. It all goes to elastic bands on end to hold them in. It all goes to cock when I try to plait my own hair. I'll have to come and do it for you, Jeanette. <laughs> I can do other people's hair without, you know, what I mean. All we can do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could, sit and, I could sit and plait somebody's hair, but yeah. I, can't do, I can't do my own. It's can do a little tight ones. You can do your own, isn't it? And then you can put can buy some air, false air, good false air, what's like your own colour, and then you put it into your own to make your hair longer. Extensions, I call it. Oh. Air extensions. I can do that as well. <coughs> because it says once you've... Once you've um, um, it says sandwich the cakes together with a third of the buttercream. Um, 
Yeah. Put another third on top and then spread rest round. round it. That's why I asked you today, are you going to put some lemon curd in? Because when we make that um, Victoria sponge before, we put the jam first. Yeah, I think it'd be, it'd be a bit too much, if, much. if I'm honest, Tracy. We, what yeah. we like, lemon in your sponge and your buttercream. Hiya, Johnny. How are you? Hello, I think it's going to be a bit a bit too much. Yeah. If I'm honest. Yeah, you might be right. Love you. I just thought, you know, it might give you an idea. Put us on a little twist yeah, to it. Yeah. But it might be a bit much like you say. No. But you can hear sirens. Shut my eyes. Can't wait to get me glasses. So oh, as soon as Johnny comes in, sirens start. <laughs> Oh, he's got his in his new PJs and slippers. Oh, I bet that were your Father's Day present. Yeah, I got him it from me. Guess what I got him? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. <laughs> world, world's, world's best daddy or something, but it's got uh, <laughs> Peppa Pig on, matching slippers. <laughs> Peppa Pig pyjamas and slippers, Tracy said she got him. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tina got her own little bits on top. So I just thought, you know, I'll treat him and get some of the Did you hear that? Chris says that's why like copies are coming for it. <laughs> 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 oh dear, it's a good job we can all take Come and do my fashion show, Johnny, while we're having a break. Come and show Hi, you Gordo. How are you? Hello, Hi, Gordo. <laughs> Come and show them, Johnny, your Peppa Pig pyjamas. Well, yeah, yeah we, we, we've just we've just learned a revelation, Gordo. Johnny's got Peppa Pig slippers and pajamas for Father's Day. Yeah, for Father's Day. I bought him them ones. He's got a few other bits as well from Keena, cups and stuff. It's in kitchen. <laughs> it's just, I'm still. <laughs> he said no. I'm still, I found, I'm I'm still got me father's day present somewhere and he's look i says you lay a job because it's in kitchen you did well this year i've been keen so but yeah but uh managed to get in bed last night without any complication <laughs> yeah. you hear that hmm? i said he managed to get in bed without any complication last <laughs> night Three minutes left on that ad. I like pepper pig, preferably with brown sauce in between two slices of bread. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, bless him. Can't beat a bit of brown sauce on your bacon butty. Eh? You can't beat a bit of brown sauce on your bacon butty. Uh, crypto said, did you have bacon for breakfast too? Johnny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does every morning. Oh, there's only a minute left. Yeah, my that quite fast too. I'll just put mine in the bit. Just check to mine. Scrap man Dan's got his stickers, by the way. Because I messaged him to see if he'd got them because I thought, well, they were posted. He says, yes, they do all allergen cooked. Well, that's it. Yeah, it does. Hi, <laughs> Tim, how are you? Hi, Tim. So, but yeah, Chris went down to Asda today and I says, I wanted, i tell you what I wanted. You know them choco beans? They're a bit like Smarties, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted... Uh, them colours. Yeah, I wanted them, but when Chris went down, he says they ain't got them, and he showed me everything. I said, all them chocolate kales will do. And then I, I put on this shopping list, I put these exact chocolate arts. So yeah, I've got a few uh, different uh, chocolate bits. Some chocolate... Uh, these are like white and milk chocolate arts. Yeah, I just thought I'd go with chocolate because it said something about lemon sweets, didn't it? 
them yeah. sheets of water, lemon sweets. I mean, it's, it's said them, like yeah. primroses and stuff like that, and I thought, oh, yeah. I've been back into Morrison's since last time. <laughs> no, yeah. no, because I'm still, I, I'm, I've calmed down loads about it now, but if I see that little fatty again, sorry, I didn't mean it like that, but that's how she got me. Because she yeah. ran to secure it again before I got a chance to get out of the door. I didn't know she was running about me. But she ran right straight past me when I was just about to push Jane. She had it run into a little pram. <laughs> she was going to go tell about me not paying for it. It's only damn nappies. <laughs> it's disgusting, isn't it? It is. But it's it's just, it, it did apologise, though. The well, that's manager. not good enough, is it? No, it's not good enough because he looked on CTV and said, oh, I can't see you've done anything wrong. So I said, I know it's because I've got proof here on my phone. Tran transaction. Well, trans we love God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, £12.75, what they do cost. You want going back in. pay for shopping next time I go in um, Morrison, so I'm going to wait while I want a week's worth. <laughs> so right, Chris is uh, putting them back in because they don't look up. Yeah, mine were, mine, were, mine were still wobbly, so I've put mine yeah. for a bit. We'll just turn them. Okay. I'll put I'll put it on for four minutes. Really? Yeah. Mine's really wobbly. I've it falling apart. <coughs> if you want, Tracy, we can make a start on um Yeah, I'm turning my oven up a little bit because mine are wobbly. They're going nice and golden brown. Let's try Yeah, they're it. mine are like brown still, round edges, but they're still wobbly. very pale in middle. Yeah, taking my butter out of the fridge. So yeah, we'll make us we'll make us <laughs> What in the name of Ovis is that going on here? Well if you don't know that, John, then you know Hey John lad. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's when you when's your parole do? <laughs> Hi Rafa, Raphael, Raphael. Hi Raphael. Yeah. So yeah, so in into this, I'm I'm gonna put me me uh, lemon zest in first. So it says zest of three lemons. So I'm putting that in first. I can see you both now. Uh. Hundred and seventy grams of butter. Oh, what am I doing? What, what are you doing? Hey, <laughs> eh? I, I just did it backwards way around then. I put that. I put juice in first instead of thingy. I'll catch you up, Jeanette. I know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. I've just got to grate this um, lemon. And this is 125 grams of icing sugar. I do have some extra icing sugar to hand if if. Uh, So it does say four and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. One, two, three, four, and a half. There you go. So now. We're going to mix this uh, wh whisk this together. So that's 125 grams of icing sugar, 170 grams of butter, four tablespoons, four and a half tablespoons, shall I say, of um, lemon juice. Thank you. 
So what I'm going to do, I think it's a bit soft. <laughs> I'm not going to put a lot of more icing sugar in, but I'm just going to put a tiny bit. Right, did you say four? Four and spoonful. a half. Four and a half. Well, this is only half a spoon because I can't fight the big one I've just had. So I need eight of these. Nine. nine. Yeah, I'll take over enough now. Yeah. So what I've done is I've put a couple of tablespoons more of icing sugar in. That should do it. Oop. Hi, Gizart. How are you? What did you put in after juice? Did you put the butter or the icing sugar? Butter and icing sugar. All oh, right, all of it's all of it then. Yeah. Gordo says, here's the thought of Victoria Sponge normally as a jam filling. Would lemon curd work instead or would it be too runny? The thing is, uh, Gordo, we've put lemon zest in the sponge mixture and also we've put lemon in the buttercream. So I think putting lemon curd in will make it a bit too... Uh, <laughs> That's what I was going to do, wasn't I? But then I thought, same as you, it might be too much. I've had a lot of practice, these art. <laughs> it says Jeanette's one of the few uh, that gets my name right. I've even spelt it right. <laughs> uh, I mean, to me, I mean, I've put two extra tablespoons of icing sugar in and it's I think it's just right consistency. I mean, but it does say that. Oh, I know what I want, baby. You see, we don't have marmalade. Uh, oh, go, oh, you know, okay then, Nam Chad. Could I have a plate as well, please? What a large one? Yeah. Are you putting in the um, lemon extract in your buttercream? No, no. We, you know, we put in um, the lemon juice. Yeah. I mean, I know it's sort of a lemon colour, but I've got some yellow colouring to put in mine. Yeah, I've got some food colouring yellow. Uh, <laughs> Mine's just that Betty Waiters, that's all. Oh, we see, I, I, I ain't got much of this left. I need to order some more, but I thought, well, I'll put just a few drops in. That's if I can squeeze two drops out on it. I've got half a bottle. Is that bed for him? Yeah, he's getting ready for bed. No, I'm dead. Because he's got to. Uh, Night, I'm dead. He's got college tomorrow. I thought, well, it'll look nice and make them. Things stand out a bit more if I put some night uh, a few drops of lemon uh, yellow colouring in it. it Doesn't made any difference if you ask me. I didn't even need to use that mixer to my bottle's already working its way in. <laughs> it says who cares about colour.
I'm going to put some more icing sugar in here and it's a bit not thick enough. I've put a, a couple of tablespoons in, Tracy. Mm, yeah. I'll just put some full colouring in. I'll just start off with uh, a drop. But yeah, it does. It does. Uh... Sky, turn TV off. Hello, Sky. Turn TV off. <laughs> I'm not, we only have to. You see, that's not what we're here for, geezer. One's not better than the other. Um, yeah, it's a bit unfair to say that sort of thing, you know. Oh, Chris's, Chris's favourites, Lemon uh, Crypto. That's basically why I made it. Oh, no. Ooh. I might tell you what it says that ice cream that he made not so long back um, with lemon flavoured. Hang on. I'm going to take some to the party tomorrow night. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I must say, I don't think that lemon colouring's made a daily difference at all. If I'm honest. Oh, I thought she would have been naughty. Got my plate ready for me. Um, that's my first one. Look. Oh yeah. So all we all we've got to do is just, just loosen edges. what it tastes yeah like that but what i'm saying is these art says traces looks better i mean you can't sort of you can't say that because um you know they both they both look good and there you go that will come out like a dream yeah. uh, <laughs> it just looks great now. So yeah, so that's that's the first one. What I'm going to do is the second. I'm just going to leave that to cool down a bit on play it. And this second one, I'm going to. Uh, See, I wanted to show everybody that that hack and, and you know if anybody were considering going out and buying them them belts that you don't have to because I've heard that just making them um with foil works just as well. So you know if you if you've got um foiling ass then uh, you may as well do your own and say because i think they're about seven quid each and obviously like tonight we've made like two separate cakes so you, you need two so by the time you've done you've um yeah you've spent about 14 quid
Ta-da! Hey. Oh, the mask on fly. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> good technique and the, and look wood plate. You see, I've had plenty of experience. The thing is, these are that's why I do these live streams because I I want to pass my expertise, as as you might say, onto other people. Knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, knowledge. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to let them uh, cool down a little bit. Cause yeah, because it's been wobbly. Eh? Hey, so, man, I'm just going to take it out in a minute. It's, it was still not quite ready. And I don't want it to fall apart. <laughs> so I'm leaving it until it's ready. <laughs> All I know is Chris is getting off with both cakes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not if I've got hope to do with it, crypto. You got it in one crypto. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to put that to one side to completely cool down. And uh, so, as you can see, the well out of way, I'm going to have a cigarette. Uh, um, I'm just uh, just having a look at oh, some of these as fell out. So in, in the years, there's like two two sheets of milk chocolate arts and two sheets of white chocolate arts. Obviously, I'm not going to use them all and I've just got one white and on the floor. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought I'd just show you them. as that I, Once I've iced the cakes, I'll be putting... I'll be putting some of them on it, obviously. Um... <laughs> that was a good and good, oh, Mrs. Kippling. <laughs> that did make me laugh. That did make me laugh. I mean, yeah, anymore, as you know, Gordo, things don't always go to plan, but just lately they have. She says, keeping her fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, like how we made the, uh, how we made the donuts last week. I sent Tracy a, uh, <coughs> a, um, a recipe for some strawberry donuts with a strawberry glaze. Myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're not going to make them just yet because we only made the brown ups last week. So, uh, so yeah. So, uh, hiya, Jason. Hello, right, Jason. You've just hey, missed Jason. out, Dad, by about five minutes. Oh, yeah, definitely, Crypto. Well, I'm Mrs. Kippling and Tracy's Miss Kippling. I'm Mr. Eater. <laughs> I'm Mr. Eater. <laughs> <laughs> Rafael says, we'll see if I get two packages of chocolate drops of cake. 500 grams each. None of that drop ends up on the cake. But this is... But, I thought, I mean, it does say in the recipe, because I always put the recipe in the description. So it says some lemon slices and primrose flowers. And I thought, well, I'm not sticking no flowers on top of my cake. <laughs> yeah. It's like an overload of lemon as well. If you're sticking lemon. Um, yeah, I've got some chocolate. All different and chocolate. I thought, well, being as this is anniversary, you know, I'm going to. Chris got me them them little arts, yeah. That's how I use them. <laughs> yeah, they're just white chocolate, just white chocolate drops. Yeah. 
Tim says the Kipling sisters. <laughs> and then the chocolate girls have put some dark chocolate on it. Do you think that's thick enough or what? I'll just blink the spoon. Uh, it does look a bit runny to me. It's a lot runnier than mine, Tracy. Look, mine's like solid now. And I only put an extra two tablespoons of icing sugar in mine. No, well, I've got a bloody cup here, measuring cup. <laughs> I'm putting some more in anyway. I don't want it to run off. It's cake. got to be. It's got to be of a consistency where it's spreadable, if that makes sense. Quite right, thick. Yeah, not not well, it's thick, more than what it wants. Not then, thick, isn't it? thick, but you don't want it runny either. Yeah, that's another cup full. Yeah. He did, he did, uh, Jason, Tim says that, uh, Tim, I've got Tim on brain. Um, Tim should be everywhere. Yeah, Am Dad did say that uh, if you come in after he'd gone, that, you know, we'd gone, obviously, to bed. We have in college. And to let you know. Chris might be using his porta potty tomorrow. He's on about going uh, car camping tomorrow night. <laughs> Whether he does or not is a different matter. It, it remains to be seen. Let's just say, watch this space. Yeah, but I, I mean, like on 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 the on the. Um, on the recipe, uh, Raphael, it's I don't know whether you can make it out or not. I'll put it a bit closer to no, I'm going the wrong way. They like little yellow yeah, the flowers. And it says decorate with sugared primroses or cut a lemon in half lengthways and then cut it into thin slices. But um, you know, it that sort of to me is a bit of a lemon overload, if you know what I mean. It's right, lemony now. I've just it tasted it. I remember that stream we did car camping for the first time. It was great. But, yeah, um, he's got his porta potty. He's upload uploaded a video where he's put lights, like strip lights, up. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, he says he's going to get to go now. He's got some lights in. Just need to cut some cardboard out for windows. So we, you know, uh, uh, but at least he ain't got to come home if he wants to do, you know, a whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, uh, James. I reckon because he's, he's going. Going working tomorrow, so I should think he's getting all his stuff together. But I thought, you know, we um we it being like a, a lemon buttercream and everything, and being an anniversary cake, um I do some of them little arts. That's looking a lot better, Tracy. Yeah, it's getting a bit tiring, so look, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's better, isn't I don't it? Know about I don't know about decorating cake, but I think you've got enough there to decorate about three. I'm so sorry, not surprised. I've seen it's size of sugar. I, I, ain't, I ain't got all that much. Come on, I have um, I've just opened this tonight. <laughs> it's a one kilogram. I'm going to say that's what mine is, a, a kilogram. Yeah, one kilogram, kilogram big, big massive box. Yeah. And I think I've used nearly... Three, well, it's gone nearly three quarters way down, nearly half. Right. Oh, oh. Yeah, but you see that, that, that that's well, what need no else on there. Oh, that's well, that's good. to mine. I've only added two tables, two extra tablespoons. It's not right sweet, neither to say I put all that sugar in. I just had a little taste, quite nice actually. Well, I've got a sweet tooth anyway, so 
stuff like yeah, this um, lemon sweet i mean same as I, I i were thinking so long as i've got enough to sandwich it together because you don't want a lot because it's just gonna no, can, I, can i save some of this and make some buns or something and put it on top of there can't i yeah definitely because i think Keely wants to do a bit of baking at some point might do some after school or something with her speaking of devil well um holidays is coming up soon aren't they yeah Oh, it's gone down a bit, so I'm just trying to get them out into that plate. James, uh, James says he's sub to you, Tim. Tim's a nice bloke. I mean, I always say, if anybody wants to come on these baking lives, it's not just about me and Tracy. I, you know, whether you're male, female, or whatever. You know, um... <laughs> who Tracy's wrecking? Asked Johnny. Keena. Oh. I think she's just. I, just I heard her a minute ago. She must have got out of bed. Little bugger. This is why she can't get up on a morning jet for school. You wake her up at seven o'clock. We don't come downstairs till about quarter past. Because I'm trying to get her out of well, bed. Even though Callum's nearly 20, I've said to him, you know, you go to bed whatever time you are. But like it's morning, it's up at seven. So it's like Chris, he yeah. likes plenty of sleep. So we'll come That's down about, I don't know, about 10 past 11. And, you know, I've said to him, he knows his limits. When he's tired, he's tired. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Oh, they're nice and cool now. Oh, nice. oh, well. So, yeah, so this is my me, me base one that I'm going to spread a bit of this on. And as I say, you don't want to. Yeah, thanks for coming in, Giza. I much appreciate it. Is going? Yeah. See you later, Giza. I mean, with it, with this, where where you're sandwiching um, cakes together, you don't want to. A lot of buttercream, wow. um, just enough to sandwich them together. Otherwise, you're going to have it seeping outside, aren't you? When you know when you. I have got I have got one of them turntables. I, I, I don't know why I don't use it. Be a lot easier to do this. My are quite ready, Janet. What your cakes? Yeah, because I, I thought they were ready because they're all nice and brown and everything. But, but the thing out. is, mine was still pale. But I I, I did the the you know where you took them in. It's a bit wobbly when I'm trying to get them out. And when I've tried to get it out with it being a bit wobbly, it was cracking a little bit. So I don't want it to fall apart. So I didn't turn my oven off until I knew for a fact they were ready. And then I've just shoved them back through. Because otherwise it'll just fall apart like you know, like it did happen to Johnny that time. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd happen tonight if I don't let them go in back in there for a little minute or two. But if you need to shut it down, if they're not quite if I'm not quite because I'm behind now a bit, aren't I? Oh, see what I mean? Oh, I so I've shoved them back out, in about, about, about in a minute or two. Until I'm free to it out later on. I'm more salty than sweet. Oh, but you see, the thing is, Raphael, baking's mm -hmm. my baking's my. Uh, I love to. I love to bake. 
So, you know, it's it's one of these things where I like to show people it's not just about, oh, I can't bake. Anybody can bake. It's just having the... Um, you know the the knowledge and whatnot. Uh, um, so that's sandwiched together now. So, I need an oven. Uh, oh, to cooking, and I started doing it in the allergen cooker because I've seen how you how you work them now properly. Oh, make like a cake in allergen cooking. You take all your racks out and just use your glass bowl. I could have done it in there, but obviously, I might get a new one for yeah, that. that. That that's it, uh, Raphael. That's that's me. I, you know, I, I, I've just got this passion about baking. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I quite enjoy it myself. Things, things sometimes do and do go wrong i mean we've all been there and done that and yeah you need a quite decent oven, <laughs> Hot uh, oven. Uh, you know it's uh i mean a lot of people say that cooking's an art uh, uh cooking's uh an art but baking's a science yeah. And in a way, it is. Like doing both. It's like you've got to do exactly what it says on the box. Otherwise, you know, everything can go. Yeah. Tits up, as they say. You ready? You ready? <laughs> Slowly getting up from his Talk, Talking to Biscuit and is is that enthusiastic? It's just it just lay there. Come on then. Pardon me. As I I mean when Lise first started doing the baking lives. I never made anything from scratch. And I says to oh, him, yeah. you can't take software. <laughs> oh dear. Speaking metaphorically, uh, Jason. Yeah, see you in a bit. That looks good, that, Jeanette. Thank you. Mine looks like a disaster. It's gone sunk now. I can turn it upside down or something. See, I'm trying to save some so I can put some outsides as well. But you see, this is this is one of the things why I were a bit dubious with with um, ingredients for um, buttercream. Now, mm -hmm. I think I mean I'm having a bit of a problem with this buttercream because the cakes I thought they'd cooled down completely, but they aren't. So they are still a bit hot. Well, not hot, but it's still a bit warm. So it's like you need to get into the fridge in straight away, don't you? Yeah, definitely. So it doesn't melt anymore. <clears throat> so I'm going to try with this last little bit and see if I can get some round edges.
if I'm not saying a deal, um, uh, yeah, you concentrate. I'm concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. I mean, it don't have to be dead. Um, neat. Let's just say. Um, no, I should have left mine in a bit longer to come out too soon. I think because uh, like I put them back in. Twenty twenty, 20 and it's still bright. So, it's it's just going dark here, um, Tommy. Yeah. Just, I mean, while I, while I like the cakes to look nice, I mean, it don't really matter because all you're going to do is, is is cut it up anyway once your icing set. Yeah. Are, are they still in the oven then, Tracy? Yeah, I'm taking them out. <coughs> Put the sock down, that's what I said. So, <coughs> it was all wobbly. We do. Ready to taste soon, James says. You've got to, you've got to put them in the fridge and let this buttercream uh, set first, James. Cool down now. <coughs> Once I don't think you'll tell. Once I turned them upside down, but they've sunk a little bit down in the middle. Now I've to took them out and put them back in, probably. They're not wobbly anymore. Well, that's good then. <coughs> Just have to turn them upside down. <laughs> That's what you're doing a bit, don't you? <coughs> nice. I don't think I'm going to have enough icing to do it all. It's cooled down, I think, properly before I start taking them out. Because otherwise, it might be, don't know. Oh, I've got itchy nose. <laughs> Ready ages ago. I'll be a minute, Jeanette, and sleep time up. Okie dokie. I'm just trying to uh, <coughs> neaten edges now. I'm uh, just uh, tidying this plate up because I've got quite a bit on plate as well. It's 
Sorry if I'm not saying a deal. So anyway, what I've got is some chocolates, uh, chocolate curls, I think they're called. Put these around edge. Put some of these in there, which is I like chocolate art. Well, half and half, um, half of them are white chocolate, and half of them are um, milk chocolate. Back in this for his anniversary, yeah. But when I got them out at box, Raphael, it fell up floor. I'm not. I'm not crawling about on the floor just to get a, a white art. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it, it hasn't been eaten. It just fell on the floor when I opened the box. So, right, Tracy's still waiting for a, um, a cake. You have to come down now, otherwise I'll have the same problem. My buttercream will just melt. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is in between I'll these... I'll some pictures. I don't think it'll be ready just yet. Yeah, you might you won't want to stop and wait for my cakes to cool down. <laughs> says, yeah, we all know where it's... Fit. Honestly, it's on floor somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it, it had come Lewis actually in the box because it come in like a little box. It's actually come loose in the box, and I obviously when I opened the box and it just fell out on the floor. Uh, I just get a bag. Uh, I've left my bag outside for some weight off. There you go. <clears throat> I'll probably have I'll probably have some butter cream left over and all. <laughs> He's gone out with dog actually, James. Yeah, it looks really nice, that, Jeanette. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy it. And you too, Tracy. So, I yeah, that, that's... Uh... I'm going to have sunk a little bit, though. I'm going to wait till the cool down proper, though, Jeanette. But I will send you some pictures. But, yeah, that's... So that's that you're actually that's going to see my over in there. I, I have tried to get as much round the outside as I can, but it, it were, yeah. I'm running a bit low of... Uh, but I will post some pictures on I Facebook know. and send some to you, Jeanette. Okay, okay. My mind stuck, so I'm going to let it cool properly. No, no it's just... got to go in fridge now, Raphael. It's got but to it's... set the ice in. They've all seen yours finished, but I'm sorry you can't see yeah. yours mine finished. Yeah, it's just one of them things, Tracy, where... Yeah, yeah. These cooked. Uh, I know it's cooked. You know, the same as I said it's earlier on, bit. these things that always, don't always go to plan. Yeah. And sometimes that is that a clearer picture? Can you see? Yeah, yeah. But if I let that cool down, loads better than what it is now. It it'll survive. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, it'll survive. So I'm just leaving it to cool. Are you nose, bro? Are you nose, bro? <laughs> That's why I've made this cake, you know, bro. It's for his anniversary. But it needs to go setting in fridge. But Chris. Um, is going to cook something special tomorrow. It really does, and I don't like lemon. I am sure yours will be lovely too. It will, it will. It just needs you cut these things. You can't rush. If, 
if a cake's has just come out of the oven, then it's no good rushing it and whacking your buttercream on it. Otherwise, it'll just melt it. Yeah. It don't, that's um, what I said. So then I can take it out and put them up yeah, side down. Yeah, 19, 19 years today, Raphael. Uh, I've had to put up with you for 19 years. <laughs> 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 you know, this cake don't work. I can see somebody going it in the mush. Raphael oh. didn't believe that I'd drop one up floor. What, what? One of them arts, it's gone up floor somewhere. When I took them out at the box, it just fell out. <laughs> this one's going in the fridge now, baby. Oh, no. So, got yeah. One in bedroom next to my bed. So, yeah, so this just needs pouring in the fridge now for the icing to set. set. And, um, and thank you. Yeah. What I've done is I've put chocolate curls around outside. Arts yeah. on just inside of that, and then I've put some more sprinklies on in the middle. Yeah, that's lovely, love. So we're waiting for us. Well, we're at our street. That fox? No, Benny. Oh. They're legging it now. <laughs> Thank you, Crypto. Yeah, it, we've been married 19 years. But at the time, I mean, we didn't plan it as such, but it's summer solstice, and it's Longest day of the year. Yeah, so after today, the night's set. Drawing in. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we didn't know sort of when we got married and we didn't plan it that way. So, yeah, I didn't have to put my torch on when I went out. I did, but I didn't have to. It's still like that, did But, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, Chris is on about doing us a special tea tomorrow. Did it. Did it. One daddy. <laughs> In front of so camera, like this, we better speak on. Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> there's the slippers. So, oh, very nice. Very nice. But yeah, 19 years today. That's actually been married. We've been together 22 years. Johnny, Johnny, sexy knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like them, Johnny. He wants a pen, eh? <laughs> <laughs> like blue bottoms, though. Oh, where did we get them from? As the living. <laughs> we got them from As the living. Just been here for eighteen years. Only, only scrap time running fast. <laughs> so, I always um, said that same thing to Chris down, today. Yeah, well, got, says, like, eight, nineteen back, years. Yeah. I says, where's that time gone? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I can remember it like it were yesterday. I mean, it were a red hot day like it has been today. Oh, I can remember it as, yeah. I mean, I always remember because we had a, a Rolls Royce, um, yeah, wedding limousine. Correct, yeah. And when we got in, I did one of my wedding pictures, didn't it? Lovely. Oh, god, look at Johnny there. <laughs> He's got hair. So brown. different. We say that colour. He's got brown hair there. <laughs> but it it was like it was that art when you got it when we got in Rolls Royce to go to reception. There were three bottle of bubbly. I think it was prosecco. I don't think it was proper champagne. I had one glass, and Chris had finished bottle by the time we got there. But it it where it was that art. And Chris were gasping for, a, you know, a drink. a drink, you know, whether it be Prosecco, water or whatever. So it was the only thing, you know, yeah. when we got in, it says here's a complimentary bottle of fizz. Yeah, I had one glass and Chris had finished it by the time. Well, I did ask you if you wanted someone, you went, yeah. no. No, it's all right, I'll have a bottle then. Oh, my. But, um, but yeah. You know what I mean? And it was just like today, it was red hot. So yeah, I'm putting these back in back in the box. Nice so if somebody I'm don't gonna, nick them. I'm to try a chocolate one, make them all even. <laughs> um, and I can always uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. just put Raffles put oi, you know, bro. He says, What about me? <laughs> oh no, bro. Because uh, he says she needs it, she she deserves a medal. 
<laughs> Growing up with William for 18 years. Yeah. So, uh, put these in the fridge, or yeah, because they put them in the fridge as well. With being chocolate, yeah. thank you, Tommy. <laughs> Hard mad to please, very needy. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> well, what I'm going to do because it's a special occasion, I'm going to put the link in for the for the chat. What Johnny up with Peppa Pig? <laughs> and I'm going to throw the panel open for the last I don't know twenty minutes. I don't usually do it on a baking live, but because it's a special occasion, um, I'm just going to put the uh, the link in the chat. So if any if anybody does want to come up, um, so yeah, there, there's there's the streamyards uh, link. So if anybody wants to come up, they're quite welcome to do so. Just for the last twenty minutes or so. Biscuits saying, why ain't they no leftovers today? <laughs> you see, that's what I drink plenty of when it's like this, uh, water. Not hard to stop, neither. Yeah, not, not <laughs> top. energy today. Energy. So if anybody wants to come up, um, you're quite welcome to do so. It's only a bit of hotness on the ball straight away. Hi, partners. Hi, partners. Uh. Yeah, I can't hear you. I'm trying to do sign language, Tracy. Uh, <laughs> I got, testicles, can you hear me? I got it there eventually. I checked, I checked my string yard out your name before. Hey, James. Hey. hey, James, how are you? I'm doing good. Been a stressful day, but we're we're winning uh, the battle. Canada, James. What's that? No, Chris says, which James is it? I says, Canada James. Yeah, I'm the only one. Because you see, we've got one or two James come. Oh, come yeah, in, yeah, yeah. I sort of, you know, James oh, yeah. Gibson. Gibson too, and I, I said, he knows who I mean when I say Canada James. That's right. Well, I'm a Newfoundlander by, by, by faith. So, it, 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 it's it's poor in simple terms for, for Chris, because anything else and he don't understand it, you see. Yeah. So if I just say Canada James, he knows who I'm on about. There's nothing wrong with Canada James. <laughs> <laughs> you like it simple. But, uh, so yeah. yeah, if anybody else wants to come up, you're quite welcome to do so. Well, um, where's crypto? Come on up. Yeah, Chris has put put the um yeah, come on, crypto. Chris has um put the cake in the uh fridge. Tracy as long as you've just got a cake, sir. Yeah. So, same as I said, don't rush things. Just take your time. Just going to decorate it and everything afterwards. We're still eating birthday cake from, uh, Post the picture from the Sunday. The my wife's birthday. I don't really, yeah, have you got a community tab, Tracy? Have I got a what? <laughs> <laughs> that means no. Yeah. <laughs> Well, on, on, on your YouTube channel, across the top, it says Home Videos Community. Oh, yeah, I think we have, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, okay. it says post some pictures on your community tab. Oh, I'll, do, I'll do, get Johnny to yeah, do when, that. When, when, you, when you've done it, and then everybody on YouTube it's, that's subscribed. As well as Facebook. Yeah, as well as Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I haven't done that too much. I have 275 <laughs> subscribers, I think, now. Yeah. But, uh, Dan got his stickers today, by the way. Who did he? Scrap man Dan. Go. Well, I think he got them yesterday. We mm. thought he'd message me to say he'd got them, but he hadn't. So I sort of mess. I've got, I've got half it. What's it down my top? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I said earlier on, 
I says, I says one Hi, thing crypto. about one thing about ba these baking live streams. I says sometimes things got tits up, and Jason come come and it come in, and he says, yeah, he says, who's who's tits is up? <laughs> I went <"It's> you. <laughs> Mention the tits, and that's it's all got to pot. <laughs> But we gotta go to the lawyer tomorrow morning to sign the document for the house. That's tomorrow. Well, it 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 it'll be it'll soon be all sorted, done and dusted, sort of thing, yeah. James. You know. Yeah, we. Then you sold. By, it's sold. By twentieth, we've all finished. When when you know you can, you know, do a sigh of relief then and yes. settle into your new house, etc., etc. You know what yep. I mean. Move on to the next chapter. Yeah, that's it. We're heading um we're heading north for about four four days oh that should be good we're going with our friend of ours. <laughs> jason said <laughs> it's been a long time since i've What's seen up? some <laughs> <That's true. laughs> i can't skate at all my ankles don't work that oh, great. No, well, I, I can't. I can. I, I can only just about walk, James. Let alone at, at skate. I, I mean, when in my younger days, I used to do ice skating. Yeah, I can skate. But yeah, I won't. I won't trust myself on a pair of roller skates. No way. Oh, <laughs> get shot anyhow. I have disgusting. trouble walking, and then I fall over. Let, let alone. Uh... If you can ice skate, you can walk. <laughs> I'll be 70 in October. I'm laughing at what Chris has put. He says that Jason and I just look in the mirror and see some every day. <laughs> it's on about boobies. <laughs> They're called man boobs, actually. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'll be 70 in October. I'm 60 in September. 60 what? 60. 60. My September. wife's 60. Yeah, turn sixty. So getting old now. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, my 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 uh, my thing is I can trip over fresh air. Let me go to the Trip though. over fresh air, you name it, and yeah. I can do it. Have a nice skating <laughs> 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 I like that one. <laughs> I remember those younger days. I could do a lot more things. But yeah, I, I I used to I used to ice skate. I did. I mean, yeah. who wants it now? But yeah, and roller all... skate. Yeah, we used to go to roller skating rink. I mean, I I I because you see where we live, there were an ice rink locally. Yeah. So I'd go. We'd go every Saturday morning, and on occasion, I'd have I'd have a lesson. So. You know, I could stand upright, I could do a few moves, but I mean, I wouldn't be, I'd, I'd be on my ass more than, than I'd be upright these days. Yeah. Very careful. My, uh, my wife is uh, visually impaired. Crypto says she's never done ice skating. But to be honest with you, Crypto, I mean, I've not ever skate, really I done roller skating, you know what I mean? It yeah. was just something that took me interest. I mean, my dad even bought me own. I, I got my own ice skates. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, mean, I never had interest in ice skating yeah. at all. Um, getting into it, but, uh, but yeah, um, we had his own ice skates and everything. And we used yeah. to go every Saturday. I think it was Saturday morning. Me and my sister. Ooh, Crypto says she went to Roller City when I was younger. Mm -hmm. We had we had those in the city here too, but I we never skated. Ice skating ring that's still there. That Bradford ice skating ring. Oh yeah, and I, I, I know I used to go there in the 80s, Tracy. Yeah. yeah, I've been there a few times. The park yeah, has still so going. Plus, to a tech more in the UK than Canada. Around the corner from uh, National Media Museum. Well, whatever yeah, it's yeah. called, Science Media Museum. Yeah. We've been in there as well. We've talked well, a little bit. I'm going to have to go back to I haven't been to that museum for, for ages. I need to make a video you on know, it as well. It's, it's, they've added more to it, you know, because we we've been yeah. there long ago. When we had it was actually the <laughs> first IMAX screen in UK, not Europe. 
Chris says, I was getting good at ice skating. I started off on my knees and then moved on to my bum. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Tim says he's done ice skating once in school. But Callum, Callum went I once and he spent more times on floor than he did upright, honestly. Well, if you're on your butt, you can't What's go on What's that period? Oh, we're going to go. Oh, we're going to go. When I, when I go skating, oh, but you know, DJ that played music, he sounded like Bruno Brooks. Yeah. Oh, but DJ could write Bruno Bruno says we used to have a lovely ice rink till they pulled it down, spent a lot of my misspent yeah. youth there. Yeah. That would be most of the time then, Gordo. Well, do you know in Leeds, don't you, Jeanette? Town yeah. Hall, Leeds, Millennium Square. I think I said it right. Millennium well, Square. I'm out on flags, you know. We do open ice skating ring in town. Oh, yeah, 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 they do. Yeah, they do. Oh, do all sorts in there in Millennium Square. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they used to do that one uh, once upon a time in in, it's in an outdoor in one. field. Yeah. When I worked in office and I used a public transport to get to and from work, I go, I go past that way oh. to get to the station. But the thing about uh, crypto says, you know what I mean? Don't you think it's hospital, <laughs> LGI hospital, that, on that square? That's where it goes, ice ring. But uh, it's all a matter of balance when you when you when you ice skate. I mean, I'd be no good at it now because I ain't got no balance on on my feet. The mind, pretty yeah, nice. Do I. Well, you're getting cheaper, don't you, if you've got your own skates as well. You don't have to iron Yeah, out. Yeah, because you don't have to iron skate. Well, yeah. you see, the, the, the thing is, my dad and mum had got a thing about, you know, you don't want boots that's on Dick or Harry's use because you don't know whether, you know, whether they've got verrucas or what they've got. So well, I said, well, I'm serious about it. I'll right buy some ice skates. Yeah. Um, and that's what he did, you see. It was clear, so you didn't have to queue up for your skates or anything. You just paid to go in and that were it. Yeah. That's way. Oh, God, who says he was a decent skater. He had his own boots. Were they uh, the yeah. uh, eye socket type of boots? Because a, a, a lot of lads had these eye socket type of boots. Rookie skates, that's what he's <laughs> doing. Past the ankles. Past the ankles. Hey, on about them with stopper on, and it, can anybody remember them? Yeah, it's stoppers. Those are roller skates out there. Yeah, yeah. 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 get one of those rockers and use them. That's what I'm on about with roller skates. I don't remember better. I remember having skate. a pair of them when I was little, and they'd like got a, you know, like you can have these doors. They go to skate park. Yeah, they were, they, they, they used to have like stoppers on, and so if you needed to stop in it. Stop. Put your yeah. toes up and lean forward. <laughs> down and it should stop. Use a walker on the ice. That'll keep you up. It's, uh, ice spikes. Put skates on your on your mobility scooter. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, I've got a, 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 a um, you know you know how they fit you know how they fit these uh, these like booster boards. You know when when that when my kids were little. And they're like booster boards, and you put them on back here. Um, I know what you're on about. Yeah. Well, I've got one of them at the back of my school. Well, you call boogie the boards them. out, then the kids stand on the back of them. Yeah. Well, there's one of them on the back of my mobility scooter. And well, no, put skis on your said, mobility scooter. Yeah. She said that her husband had put that on there because. When he used to go shopping, he'd got no way to put his bags. So he used to strap them on, you know, with these like, idea, yeah. call them like bungee yeah. Yeah. things. Yeah. Bungee he to, cords. He, yeah. He used to he used to strap his shopping on this thing at back. Well, first time he used it and I went down past on it, guess who got on back? Chris. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, but I mean, it don't, yeah. it don't, it don't yeah. serve any purpose. You're not doing any harm there, are you? You've got sitting on these standing up behind you. They have electric filters, don't it they? Has, it has got a basket on front. Plus, it's got like one of these, you know, like big, uh, they like uh, laptop bags, like a big black yeah. bag. Yeah. I, um, <clears throat> I just took it over headrest. 
Mm-hmm. Basin says he was a figure skater in his youth. I looked at women's figure skates while I was skating. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wasn't there, a, wasn't there a figure skater who tried to kneecap another one? Yeah, Russian, I think. No, not Russian, American. American. Nothing, no, nothing to do with Russians. I thought it were a Russian. I know, I know. No, there were two. They were both American, but one, one, one of them thought. I think it was something to do with parents, though. And it was also it was also referenced in a weird Al Yankovic song. <laughs> I think it. I think it was something to do with. Um, I think it was something to do with, you know, moms. <laughs> you know, um, cause this this skater were better than a daughter. She thought she'd do away with her, so a daughter would win everything, basically. I, 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 I have read that. Nowadays, lots of things yeah. up like that. But I mean, at what at one point these inline roller skates were all raging, all weren't they? You know, we're all all like. So it was Nancy Kerrigan who was uh, who was assaulted. Uh, I even remember colour of mine. Mine was royal blue skate <laughs> with yellow lines from the said there used to be a black guy who used to wear a pink mankini that used to be spotted <laughs> everywhere and in all winds and weather on his skates. <laughs> Oh Mr. Motivator on the morning, I'll tell you, he used to do exercise. Oh, yeah, Mr. Motivator. Yeah, he used to exercise on them, didn't he? I, I'm sure I saw, I saw a video or something with this guy walking along canal and he met Mr. Motivator. I don't know if it were on a YouTube video or something. But... Yeah. But yeah, I mean, James is probably don't know who Mr. Motivator is. It, it, it used to be on very early, like, breakfast shows. And he, he were a black guy, and he'd got headband on, and he got oh, his back in the nineties. Lycra t-shirt on and tight lycra shorts. Exercise, and he promoting went, exercise on Derek, Derek Evans is his real name. <laughs> to say his outfits were a bit loud. That sort of that's the only but, way I can describe him. Yeah. His outfits were very loud. When we were in bright, when we were younger. We had used to get a lot of. You were a bit of a weirdo. Of the UK. Right? Jeanette, when we were younger, we used to get a lot of TV programs on from England. It was more popular than American stuff. stuff. But the but thing is, is, I mean, yeah. it, it, it sort of. At one point, everybody, and I say everybody in the mother, were bringing these fitness. Uh, videos are everybody everybody that were anybody yes bring these fitness videos are they died off though but but yeah, yeah it did exercise videos he used to have it too but i didn't watch them but anyway it were a bit of a character to say yeah. the least you know yeah and they were one of these they, they, they were couldn't give a monkey's attitude, yeah. you know what I mean? But you know, it, 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 it were it were bright, it were brash, it were you know, you name it. <laughs> Crypto says, "Well, I am forty-one and getting some. Don't care. Go out when digs on his bike and get a lift." <laughs> Gordo says that he could see his lunchbox. Yeah, and everything else, Gordo. <laughs> wasn't the only one. <laughs> Linford Christie uh, popularised that expression. What is lunchbox? Yeah. Hey, uh, another claim to fame I've got. I've made. I've made some shorts for Linford Christie's lunchbox. Extra large. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dare I ask? Dare I ask? Yeah. <laughs> and I joke about Linford Christie, but I can't yeah, tell it on where the Where I worked, they, were all, they all did sports, all sports wear. And yeah, I've, I've claimed to fame is I've done shorts for Linford Christie and his lunchbox. <laughs> oh, his lunchbox has been in the pair of my shorts. <laughs> Mad Lizzie, that were another one she wear. Yeah, I can remember her. Yeah, God, I was just put same thing. Tim's put Mad Lizzie. Who oh, remembers yeah. Mad Lizzie? Yeah. 
busy she's web. About, she's about as crazy as Mr. Motivator, weren't she? She's getting on a bit. She's a uh, seventy-three. Gordon Bennett. Busy web. We, 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 we're showing his age now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should get going, guys. I gotta go spend some time with the boss. Okie dokie then, thanks for coming up anyway, James. Yeah, thank you. See, you See you later, James. See you later, James. Bye, Bye, everyone. Bye. But, yeah. Um, oh, Green Goddess, I can remember her and all. It says Green Goddess. Oh, Green Goddess. I, I remember all ones when they did all you know, exercise tips and stuff. I can remember, like, like, you know, when sort of Mr. Motivator weren't on, they'd have about four or five women in studio all doing the workouts. And, yeah, you know. yeah. Oh, you know, I was on about the National Science Media Museum. On the mm -hmm. top floor was a TV studio that TVM used back in the day. Ooh. And it was, wait, the wait, wait, first, it was the first time a, there was a live TV broadcast from a museum. Yeah, they're the a studio. They were on top floor. I've seen it. Top of the shop. Yeah. Green goddess. I was thinking old fire engines. But another thing that we used to do, we used, you know, Leeds United, we used to do their their kit as well. And uh, we've done Aston Villa. We've done Aston Villa. Uh, who else did we do? Aston Villa. Um, Leeds United, and I forget it's another one, but I forget who it were now. But yeah, we used to do all sorts shorts, top football kits, you know what I mean? Yeah, back in the 80s, my mum used to go to key fit classes every week or something like that, Tuesday or whatever, and to get up, to get up albums, you know, with all. I'll tell you what I've seen, and it looks good fun, but I'd be frightened it. The, the, it's like um, a bungee workout, it's called, I think. And they like strap themselves into like this bungee and they're like running across the floor. And then they, you know, they. I'm thinking, oh, oh, yeah, I've seen I wouldn't, that. I wouldn't mind doing that, but knowing me, they strapped me up at the first time I took off, I'd hit a good twang. <laughs> <laughs> knowing my look, but yeah. I don't want to say anything because, uh, you know, without getting personal and. You know, the weight. I don't, I don't want to uh, you know, make any such jokes. I don't, you know, because they won't let me do it. We get, we get, we get personal. Yeah, but um, you but know, yeah. love you as you are, accept you for what you are. Well, that's it. You know, it's one of these things, uh, partners. Take, you know, take me, take me as you find me. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I wouldn't like, wouldn't like it in, wouldn't really like it in the eighties. Keep fit glasses, we used to call it whale watching. <laughs> but yeah, it's been up telecrypto when it's called Bun Bungee Fitness or Summit, it's called. Can't remember exact name of it is, but they like strap you into a bungee like a And you're on arm. trampolines, aren't you? I'm right. Hey? Are you on trampolines at the same time? No, it, it, it's just like you know, you know them bouncy things that what you oh, like baby bouncers. Yeah, them baby bouncer things. Yeah, yeah. 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 On on that, but they're all strapped in these these harnesses, <laughs> and then it shows you I'm running across floor, and then they let go and they just swing backwards and it's, forwards. You always spring back. You'd spring back, wouldn't you? Did they go up and climb, try and climb some as well, don't they? But they I'm not quite sure what it's called, whether it's called bungee fitness or what it is, but it's, it's on the oh. same principle as one of them baby barns of things that you stand front door, you know, and when yeah. it's jumping up and down, it's some on the same principle as that. Yeah, it is. But, I mean, I, it, when I say it, you, you don't, you don't go up very far, crypto. It's sort of like you run across room with this bungee cord attached, and then you let go, and it sort of brings you back. Because it brings back. What if you rebounded too far and you end up hitting the wall? <laughs> you 
knock all them round you up like skittles or, or worse if cord snaps well that's it i just don't mind steve i just don't mind steve you know, um, i don't uh, same as i say i think it's called bungee fitness i'm not sure oh whatever next i know whatever next <sighs> When the sports centre first opened, it was all the rage. We used to watch from the gallery and take the piss. They closed the gallery off to the public. But you see that where I used to go out sports in Bordeaux. Uh, that were like it, it were there were a sports centre, there were an ice ring, there were squash courts, there were badminton courts, um, and all sorts. For it were part of the school where I went to. So actually if you wanted to during your lunch break you could go and play badminton squash or go ice skating or um whatever and you because you're it was like in school time you got got to do it for free yeah but when it were out of like school time it were you had to pay uh crypto says it i'm just warm that's that's why i'm you just sparsing uh, i thought i think of a certain tv program starring chris barry uh british empire i i didn't watch it i know what you're on about though brad yep. i just watched it was chris did I, who did i say did i say chris barry oh. what, or did i say chris man i can't remember i think I, did, I think i did say chris barry Weren't it him that were in Red Dwarf? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, the same guy. No, the white guy. Him that oh, were a Barry. bit. Him uh, that were a bit dim. Yeah. <laughs> Barry, somebody or another. Yeah, no, Chris Michael. Barry. Yeah, Chris says his name was Michael Barry. No, no he's thinking of Michael Barrymore. You're on about British Empire. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh God, glad somebody remembered. Jim, he says his name was. No, it was in the gym. It was, um, like yeah, it was managed. Center. The character was managing a sports centre. Yeah, Chris has just said he worked manager of yeah, a manager religious centre. Yeah, but I can't say I've ever watched it, but I do know who you mean. I, 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 it were in that were in Red Dwarf. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, and, uh, so yes, we'll be having a slice of the cake tomorrow at some time. Chris is going to make me um, a meal tomorrow. Oh, that's not bad. He says he's having a beer. Uh, Stuntman Steve says it was cheap, so I got got it nine ninety nine, and it should have been fourteen ninety nine. Where's well, that? It. Is it? Is it from Yorkshire? No idea. No idea. Definitely UK Stuntman Steve, because he's a yeah, yeah he, 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 he's in the sterling <laughs> that's just like you gordo says we used to line the building insulation up into a pile then launch yourself onto it from the gallery which was 30 foot up <laughs> mm. Mm. oh it's today is his anniversary is steve yep. but because i work yeah, Rimmer, that's it. Rimmer, yeah, Rimmer. Not, that's his character from Red Dwarf, Arnold J. Rimmer. Yeah. But it, it's his anniversary today, but because I was baking, yeah. that's why the I've, I've made a cake. Um, but obviously we, um, you know, we've been sort of been a bit busy today, so uh, Gordon Britas. <laughs> yeah, that's it? yeah. That was his character in the British Empire. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, I can't say as I watched it, but I do know who you mean. But I think Red Dwarf is an example of what the Brits do best: science fiction <laughs> and comedy. Gordo says his mate Neil nearly broke his back. He jumped onto it, but went through the middle. It was like the parting of the waves. Oh dear. <laughs> Yeah. The thing is, I mean, it, if we sort of all relate some of the stupid stuff that we've done when we were kids, you know what I mean? 
Oh, we'd be yeah. here all night, you know what I mean? Yeah, we would, yeah. Mm. I've done some, we've all done some daft stuff in this time. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> but, the, but the good thing is, the good thing is, there ain't no internet. Look at that ugly bush. <laughs> and some devil. The good thing is there weren't no internet or mobile phones back in there. Listen, yeah, so listen the devil. So so there's so there's no evidence yeah. or as misgivings when we were young. Well they didn't, have cam didn't really have cameras back yeah. then. You know, there were no there were no mobile phones with cameras, there were no internet or anything in them days, so you could get away with a lot and you you know you can't you can't dig up any evidence like let's just say okay i'm gonna be i'm gonna be i'm gonna do a terminate and i'll be back <laughs> stunt man steve says he knows english and drunken english yeah i know somebody else that does that and all steve oh, that reminds me Oh, yeah. That was quick. Yeah, just getting rid of empty can. Oh. Just put it in recycling. Got a fresh got but, can to open. But yeah. I mean, they'll not be on much longer because Chris has got to take all this table down and everything. Oh god, is it? Photo bombing it. Oh, <laughs> Give him his own show. Reggie Dave cut. Cut it. <laughs> when did I cut it? When Monday? Uh, Use biscuits dog uh, clippers. Morning. No, yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Monday, yeah. I was right in first place. It's because you didn't say no. <laughs> What's that? Oh, no. <laughs> it says it. Mm. it uh, something about backing onto a pool and he says the bike was partially accessible broke into the pool and went skinny dipping until the police turned up we had to make a dash for it over the roof I must say I never I went skinny dipping just imagine a, a shiny bottom leaping over fence yeah. in the garden what I, like in full Monty, you mean, where they're all jumping <laughs> off at fences. Why well, they call him Arse? Because he's unlike one. Jumping off at of all back gardens. <sighs> oh dear. The, oh. Right, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna shut it down because some as I say we've got tech yeah, up, yeah, I've got plug up cameras, on. tech table down. What you left to do, Tracy, if you want send me the pictures and i'll put them on my community tab and i'll put link to your channel and you know and yeah. tell them yeah. that, that this is your um yeah i think that'll be best <laughs> see you later car thanks for coming in see you and i'll see you later guys bye bye everybody hey that's note i made a cock up earlier on I put me um night, night, Tim. I can't find it. Jason, Gardo. I put my archer on and, and...